What's up guys, my name is Joy. So as I'm sitting here watching In7 Kate's video and uh, regarding Mass Effect and single player, I mean I've seen a bunch of these videos, but I like to hear what people's opinions are and see their opinions and all that stuff. And uh, we're going to talk about it. We're really going to get into it right now. Uh, I also just watched some Star Citizen gameplay on uh, Twitch. Uh, they're showing that at Gamescon right now if you want to check that out. It basically kind of looks like Andromeda and the PC, the PC that one of the uh, presenta uh, presenters was showing the game on, his PC crashed. So early alpha game, showing at Gamescon for Star Citizen, you're going to need a really beastly PC to run this piece of trash. It's got $156 million invested in it. It just, oh my god, it, it's, looks... It looks good, but it runs like shit, right? Okay, we've all been there before with games. It looks great, but it runs like crap. So, Mass Effect Andromeda. Let's get into it. Bioware announced, obviously, is by the title and in Seven Kate's video. Uh, no story DLC. I've seen a bunch of, like I said, a bunch of videos regarding this over the week. And I'm going to give my thoughts on it. Because I feel like people, at least gamers today just can't be bothered, or don't care, or whatever have you. Now, I played Andromeda, I bought Andromeda. I enjoyed Andromeda. I like the combat, I like the customization options I get, I like some of the abilities, although some of them feel rather weak, I still like it. The story for Andromeda, though, was no doubt one of the worst Mass Effect stories I've ever played. Uh, it wasn't engaging, it wasn't compelling, it wasn't very... Ripping, it didn't hold your attention. Hell, I skipped a bunch of cutscenes and I played the game three times. Now, some cutscenes I didn't skip. Some cutscenes were actually pretty good, but you had to, you know, work like a fucking slave in order to get to them. Uh, so you had to play like 10 plus hours to get to anything intriguing or exciting or what, what have you. So. My thoughts on Andromeda and Bioware and EA, uh, or more so EA and Bioware, just backing out of this game and not putting story DLC in. Makes me not want to buy anything with a Bioware or EA tag on it ever again. Like, at all. And the reason I say this is because, if you remember Mass Effect 3, a lot of people hated the ending. Angry Joe did some coverage over this, plenty of other people did videos on this. And they complained. They made a boycott on Reddit. And sure enough, Bioware and EA had to cave to sell other games. because, Or at least, not sell other games, but they had to cave to the crappy ending that was Mass Effect 3. And so they added a DLC later on, which changed it, which I think was also scummy of them, because you still had to pay for it. But they changed it. The point being is they changed the ending to Mass Effect 3 with the DLC. Okay, so they did something about it at least, right? Even though they're charging you for it. Now, with Andromeda, I'm not seeing any Reddit boycotts on EA games at all. Star Wars Battlefront. I'm not buying it. It's an EA game. It doesn't have Bioware behind it. It has DICE Studios, but I'm still not buying it because it's made by EA. And honestly, my PlayStation 2 Battlefront games were just better. I'm sorry. They were. Deal with it. It'll never be the same game again. In fact, it'll always be just a cash grab for EA. Uh, it's the same, you know, same with DICE games, same with EA, and, and obviously now Bioware. Dragon Age 4, not fucking buying it, boycotting the shit out of it. Uh, Anthem, I was excited for Anthem, I thought it, you know, it has some potential, but then I realized Mass Effect got tossed under a bus for it. Fuck you, Bioware, and fuck you, EA, boycott that shit too, not buying it. And this is just going to keep happening. At least with me. I'm not I'm not buying anything from Bioware right now. And I love Dragon Age. I do love Dragon Age. I'm not buying Dragon Age 4. I can get two fucks about Dragon Age 4. Uh, you know, Mass Effect's not on hold because of this. They said they will make more Mass Effect games in the future. But you gotta realize that we had to wait like four years for Andromeda. And with Andromeda's lackluster reviews and performance and all that stuff. Are you really willing to wait another four years for mediocrity? Because that's what it seems like. You're going to have to wait another four years, if not longer, just to get single-player DLC in a Mass Effect game. 
Bioware and EA need to fix this. They need to fix it now. No Man's Sky is still getting updates. They haven't quit putting out updates to fix the game and all the bullshit that Sean Murray said. They're still working on it. They're still making updates for it. In fact, I think they just got an update. And yet, Mass Effect can't even get the respect it deserves. And yet, it's got this giant fan base that refuses to speak out whether how crappy the base game is or not. That could be saved with DLC, and no one's doing a thing about it. My advice would be to go to Reddit and start a massive boycott. Everybody that wants to see the future of Mass Effect succeed needs to speak out regarding Andromeda. I don't care if you hate the base game. I don't care if it's the worst thing since sliced cheese. If you care about the franchise, they need to make DLC for it. They shouldn't just give up without putting at least story content in a Mass Effect game. It's a Mass Effect game. It wears the title of Mass Effect. Regardless of how crap it is, Andromeda on the cover of the game, when you buy it, whether it's digitally or on a disc, it says Mass Effect on the title. Well, that's not a Mass Effect game without story content and DLC. And so, Bioware, you need to fix it. Yay, you need to fix it. Because if you don't fix it, people aren't going to trust you anymore. People aren't going to buy your shit. What if I buy Battlefront 2 in EA? Keep in mind, Bioware doesn't work on Battlefront 2. I know that. But what if I buy a Battlefront 2 or Anthem and the press receives those games poorly? Like they get a mediocrity, like a, a review of 5 out of 10, okay? From every review site. Is EA and Bioware then just going to pack up their bags and say, fuck this shit, I'm out? They shouldn't be doing that in the first place. They should finish the product that they put out to begin with and then pull the resources once all the DLC and story content's done for it. And work on something else. Mass Effect 3, as shitty as the ending was, had a lot of DLC for it. Andromeda has none. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking insane? Now, I don't believe, again, I don't believe in DLC or microtransactions. But there really is no justification for what EA and Bioware have done with Mass Effect Andromeda. There's just not. And no excuse they make will ever, ever be good enough. They better finish Andromeda, and they need to finish it now. Because I'm not going to buy anything under the EA, Bioware, or DICE brand ever if they don't finish this game. Now, I have Battlefield 1. I have other Battlefield games from DICE. I know DICE can do better with those, and I know DICE has no, no direct involvement with Mass Effect. I know it's just Bioware and EA. But DICE also hasn't been getting better with their shooters. And I'm going to be honest, this year, I've looked at the World War II beta. It looks, some people say it's shit. But I think I might actually want to pick it up over Battlefield 1. And I hate to say that, but yeah, it's at that point where Battlefield games are just as crappy. And Battlefront 2 will be no different. DICE obviously couldn't fix Battlefield 1. COD's still king, regardless of what anyone says. Just go look at Twitch right now and you'll see it for yourself. Um, shooters, RPGs, they're all dying. They're dying by the wayside, whether it's EA, Activision, or Ubisoft. They're all fucking dying. And it just... <sighs> gaming is such shit now. Because people don't say anything or speak out against it. They're just like, oh, whatever, you know, fuck, fuck that game. No! Speak up against it. Do something. Bioware and EA, fix Andromeda, please. Or just shove it up your ass, because I'm not buying anything from you again. That's your choice. I hope other people follow this and uh, do the same. Don't buy anything from EA or with EA's you know, logo on it. Just don't buy it. Don't buy it anymore. Until they start delivering on what they already have. Anyways, guys, my name's been Joy. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.